Data penciptaan lapangan kerja dari Departemen Tenaga Kerja AS untuk Desember 2021 mengecewakan analis. We were forecasting a 440.000 rise in non-farm payrolls. Uh, so when it came in at 199, I was very surprised thinking, well, gee, it's deja vu all over again because the November number was expected to be strong and it came in at about half of what had been projected. Um, yet the unemployment rate, which we thought would stay at 4.2%, then came in substantially lower. So um, a surprise on both counts. Data terpisah oleh ADP, sebuah perusahaan pemroses penggajian, sebelumnya menunjukkan penciptaan 807 ribu lapangan kerja swasta baru. Meski laporan ADP berbeda metodologi dengan laporan Depnaker yang dihimpun Biro Statistik Ketenaga Kerjaan. One reason could be that you have many more people who are Uh, becoming self-employed, uh, which would not show up in the uh, BLS Bureau of Labor Statistics data, the payroll numbers, uh, for quite a number of months down the road. Uh, yet it does show up in the household employment because the way those numbers are acquired is through telephone interviews. So if somebody left a, a regular job uh, that reports to the BLS and started their own firm, uh, that data is not going to catch up for several months down the road. Data untuk November akhirnya direvisi dari 210.000 ke 249.000, sementara angka Oktober dari 531.000 ke 648.000. Analis umumnya masih merespons positif secara umum laporan ketenaga kerjaan terbaru ini. Karena dengan demikian sekitar 6 juta lapangan kerja baru tercipta selama 2021. Yang belum jelas bagi analis maupun pelaku usaha adalah dampak dari varian Omicron terhadap kegiatan ekonomi. Mengingat varian baru ini telah menyebabkan pembatalan belasan ribu penerbangan selama pergantian tahun dan juga memukul pemasukan restoran dan usaha lain dalam sektor keramah tamahan. Sektor-sektor yang paling rentan terdampak pandemi. We are still seeing wage growth. Uh, at a pretty rapid clip, and that's because employers are still finding it difficult to hire workers, and so they're trying to attract workers with higher compensation or new benefits or more flexible working arrangements, which don't necessarily show up in the wage data, but are all a sign of the fact that employers are finding it difficult to hire right now. This is especially true in lower wage sectors like uh, retail and food services or and transportation and warehousing, all industries where Uh, employers are dealing with a shortage of workers and really need to raise compensation to compete aggressively. Pada saat yang sama, permohonan tunjangan pengangguran juga turun ke level terendah dalam lima dekade. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.